So who knew? Mixing GCPS Faction Starter Set with the Northern Alliance two-player set, uh, <laughs> you can get actually a really nice little group pair uh, of Polar Fighters ah, for Dead Zone. They are so cool. <laughs> I had no plan. I watched, uh, uh, saw this on Facebook and I just really jumped on it. So the two-handed, when they're ho holding with two hands, the connection joints are not that good because they are a little too big of a body. So you maybe need to go in with a knife and trim it a little more. So I had big problems with these two guys here, but um, uh, I haven't trimmed them with the knife and you can see a little gaps here. I think I'm going to go in with a little green stuff and just fix that that way. Uh, but the others, I solved it with just having them not holding the weapon with two hands. So, and I actually kit batch a little more help that the, she was pointing, but I just uh, put a grenade in her hand instead. So, throwing those smokes. I guess they're good. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I just had to go in here. And now you're going to see a little intro on how I made. Let's see, uh, ba -ba -bum, this one. And I choose to have a backpack on her. Not on the others. I can mix and match there too, but I, I like this. A really nice little good look. So, yeah. Today's ID come from uh, the Dead Zone Fanatics group over at Facebook page. Uh, links below. And the creator's name is going to be in the shop now with uh, his take on this. Ding! Alright, so I, I just want to see, show you a little cool neat ID. You have a Northern Alliance brew with a really cool, like, um, Polar Expedition dresses. So they are in like a cold environment, you know. And you can have a little cool hoods here. And they're looking like really cool, kind of um, uh, more like a modern Polar uh, scientific people. And you can mix that with... Uh, the sprue from uh, the C G C P um, faction starter. So here you have it, and you can mix uh, together, you know, weapons and uh, things they have on their backpack and stuff like that, and make them like a polar, uh, like the thing or something like that, as a theme. So I'm going to build up uh, just a miniature here. Uh, and see how, how well the, these two spruce fits and you can also you know you can uh, you can mix you know from this one and I, I have this uh, two player starter set King, Kings of War Shadows of the North and uh, you can also mix it with uh, for example Corporations Mini also if you want to but we are going to use these two spruce and just see how well they fit together so I am going to choose um, I think these two are the most looking like a mo you can use them as a modern um, sci-fi look to them so I'm going to take this one And you can swap heads, you know, you can swap, use uh, the, he the modern heads instead of, but I, I think, I think it's going to be real cool to have one of the hoodest ones. And um, for Argus sake, maybe we have a girl uh, corporation faction here. And let's see, I want to have it on a, Round base. So once again, a big shout out to the fanatics uh, groups on, on uh, Facebook. You know, the Kings of War, the the Dead Zone fanatics, Vanguard fanatics. It's a really good really good groups for romantic uh, and you get 
really good inspiration for all your plastics and um, I, I like to see new ideas and, and try to run with them a little and you know it gives me a good idea for a video so I, I steal them but I hopefully <laughs> I get um, pardoned uh, but uh, you know all credits is where the credits are due um, I am just kind of stealing the ideas and I, I but I don't feel bad I feel really good making this it's so cool with the plastic from Mantic and um, you can mix and match a lot of things I'm thinking Night Stalkers making them as a faction uh, instead of um, the the oh what does it call it then zone the nameless no yeah the nameless you can use them as a nameless or the plague so okay and now for the difficult part is up next it is um, the weapons you need to shave a little bit on them and stuff like that uh, But we are going to try to do it. But first we are going to try to get this head to be in place. Please. There you go. And let's see. What weapons should we have? Maybe just... Uh, you can have having on, on the back two weapon and just go without just ha uh, hand, hands pointing. That would be maybe cool. Maybe we should do that. Uh, maybe that we have one that's just holding without holding the other weapon. And it can hold it down. There is one that is without holding the gun with both hands. Let's see. Like there. And now it's going to be interesting to see how good... Uh, it lines up just trying to clean most of the mode lines before we connect it <coughs> and I'm actually thinking holding it down maybe Yeah, it's working. It's working. And then we have can take the the hand pointing hand. That would be cool. I think we take this one flat side down. And then we take uh Backpack, that's cool. I think that one is cool. And maybe... Maybe take a handgun as well, just, just for coolness. You have also knives you can take, but I think that's enough for this one. It's more more just a, a build to see how easy it is to build one mixing spruce of different ranges from Mantic. So Dead Zone mixed with uh, the Northern Alliance. Look 
fucking badass. I just want to have them kind of lined up a little bit and then we're going for this backpack and see if that lines up good too. It might be good to flatten the backpack a little bit so it's flat against their, uh, the back of this mini, but uh, I think it's okay. Just leave it there a little bit. Oh, maybe it's two narrow contact points. Yeah, I actually think it's a good idea to trim away this a bit. So it has a bigger contact area to work with. So And then you can have, if you want, you can, I think uh, it to be too much to glue the gun, but you could glue the gun too. So, there you go. This is how fast you can mix and match and having a different look to your dead zone, warpath, and uh, you know, whatever games you're playing and whatever. The mini miniatures are fantastic. I just love them. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Bye now.